Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a review of Artichokes to Zucchinis, An Alphabet of Delicious Things from Around the World by Alice O. Now I'm probably sure I've mispronounced that so I apologize. But this is a gorgeous alphabet book all about food. The synopsis says A is for artichokes and long spears of asparagus. It's for bright creamy avocados and salty little anchovies. From apple pie to zeppoli and everything in between, artichoke to zucchini introduces young readers to fruit, vegetables and dishes from around the globe. Full of tasty favourites and delicious new discoveries, it's sure to lead to inspiration in the kitchen. This book is just stunning. It's a very simple concept. It is an alphabet book about food but it is so much more than that. And if you can't already tell by the amazing illustrations on the front cover that are just vibrant and pop off the page. I mean, doesn't this look like one of the most visually appealing books that you ever want to pick up? I feel like this could sit quite happily in with those amazing recipe books, even though there's no recipes in here. It's just amazing. This is the layout of the book. Sometimes letters have a double page, sometimes they have one page, sometimes there's three or four letters on a page depending on how many food names are available. Underneath each letter there is a little rhyme that introduces all of the foods but then you have all of the foods on the page with their labels so that kids can match them up and identify what's what if they've never seen it before and it is just so fun and engaging to look at. Like it would be a perfect book to actually sit down and go okay oh what have we tried on this page? Is there something that we want to try in the future? So here's one of the double letter pages. And just look at these pops of color. I love that, you know, we, we have traditional colors, but then we have these really bright fluoro pops of color, which to me just stand out and just draw your eye around the page. Not only is this just a great alphabet book, but it's a really great one to also then go, okay, well, is there anything that's missing from these pages? Could we add other things from our own cultural or cultural background? And, you know, last week I shared pasta and how much I absolutely loved that book because it just does a deep dive into the different types of pasta that exist. And this is, you know, along a similar vein in that it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous collection of food that comes from so many places around the world that you can go, okay, well, I, I've never heard of that before. Do I want to try it? How can I go about doing that? Or how can I find out more information? So it's a really great starting point for that, as well as just being a visual treat. Sometimes books are just good for just sheer enjoyment, and this is definitely one of those. But there are so many ways that you could probably use it in a classroom. I mean, it would be, it would be fantastic for a visual arts lesson on creating collage papers and collaging different foods from around the world. You could take the little summaries or the names of all of the foods on the page and put them in alphabetical order if you wanted to do sort of a word work task. And you could even just take the concept of this. It's an alphabet book about food. I think I talked about an alphabet book about about female sports athletes a little while ago as well you could have a whole lot of alphabet books and go could you write an alphabet book and what would it be about and what would you include and that's a, you know gets kids thinking a little bit out of the box I just absolutely loved seeing this when it arrived I opened it and I was just absolutely thrilled and I can't wait until my niece is a little bit older because I will definitely get her a copy of this because her family background is a mix of amazing cultures and amazing foods and I know that her family will appreciate reading this one with her. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author illustrator down below. If you've read the book, feel free to chat about it with me in the comments, or if you know of other books that have a similar theme, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, leave me your favorite food emoji in the comments. I hope that wherever you're in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.